Elder Kadash from One Nation One Power. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. This is Chaya Banya Sharala from One Nation One Power. Shalom. Shalom. This is Brother Guy Kwa from One Nation One Power. All praise and glory to the Most High Ahaya, by Shem Shaya, coming to his truth, bringing his truth on to my brothers and sisters out there, for all 12 tribes. Shalom. This is Elder Yo from One Nation One Power. A demon stomper. Wanna just say shalom. Elder call the charm. Praise most high. So that I can be free. So I give myself to you. Love me like you. So I just wanna love you the way you love me, Lord. I just wanna love you the way you love me, Lord. I just wanna love you. Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Outer Kwadash from One Nation, One Power. And I want to give all glory, honor, and praise where praise is due. To the Most High God, Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, which is written in Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. And his son, who people call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yeshaya in the Hebrew, and the Rawak Kwidash, which is the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. And I'm coming to you once again, brothers and sisters, with another message, another understanding. And the Holy Spirit has been ministering unto me. And the Holy Spirit wants me to bring this understanding back into the earth. A lot of people, a lot of camps, a lot of teach teachers out there, they forget about the Holy Spirit. And they're not teaching the ways of the Holy Spirit and how to get close to her, the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to bring this back into your remembrance because it was planted in you since the foundation of the world. So I'm going to go and be going into the sealed portion today. I'll be going to a little bit of it. And I warn you brothers and sisters out there that when you read this book Know that there's a lot of bones in it, but allow the Holy Spirit to teach you all things and bring back everything to your remembrance through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to show you today, not my will, but his will, brothers and sisters. So now we're going to be going into the sealed portion and we're going to go to chapter 57 in the sealed portion not the sealed book of mormon the sealed portion okay the sealed portion so i'm going to get started this is for my brothers and sisters they want more wisdom. They want to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And, and a lot of these scriptures are going to be familiar to you. Because they were written in the book of John. But it goes into it a little more deeper. In this understanding. So let's go to chapter 57. And we're going to start at verse 34. Chapter 57. And verse 34. And Yeshia answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. He will what? He will keep my words, which are the words of my father. And if a and if he keep the words 
of my father, then my father will love him. Will do what? Will love him. And we will come unto him. We will what? And we will come unto him. And we will what? And we will come unto him. And make our abide. And make our abide with him. By giving unto him the Holy Spirit. The what? The Holy Spirit. Let's keep go. Let's keep reading. Thirty-five. And as the Son, witness of the Father by the flesh, as the what? And as the Son, witness of the Father by the flesh. Meaning all the miracles he performed. It was of the Father through the flesh. Even so, doeth the Holy Spirit witness of the Father by the Spirit. By the what? By the Spirit. By the what? By the Spirit. So now, the Holy Spirit is sent so the Father could be a witness through the Holy Spirit and not by Yeshua that was on the earth no more. So now instead of, so you see the disciples, they had Yeshua on the earth. So now when Yeshua went to the heavenly realm, now the Holy Spirit will be the witness of the Father. The Holy Spirit will come in the Father's name instead of the Son now. You hearing me? Let's keep reading. For the Son giveth an example of the Father by the works that he doeth in the flesh. What? Let me read it again. For the Son Give an example of the Father by the works that he doeth in the flesh. So everything he did was an example of the Father. Let's keep reading. And the Holy Spirit giveth an example of the Father by that which he giveth through the Spirit that which he giveth through the Spirit. So now the Holy Spirit is an example of the Father in which he giveth through the Spirit to somebody. You hearing me? Let's keep reading. 36. He that loveth me not keepeth not my saying. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and doeth not follow the example of the Father. Come on out of here. Therefore, he that he doeth that which the world doeth, and not that which I have given unto him by my word. By my what? By my word. Let's keep reading. 37. And the word which you hear is not mine. And the word which you hear is not mine. Whose is it? The Father's. But the word of the Father who said me, who has sent me, so that same mindset is with us, brothers and sisters, because he sent us also into the world to be under the Father's name. Let's keep reading. These things have I spoken unto you. Bring yet 
being yet present with you. He's talking to his disciples. Let's keep reading, but this applies to us too. But the comforter, okay, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, which the Father will send in my name. Pay attention to this. He shall teach, or she shall teach you all things. She shall teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. Your what? Your remembrance. Your what? Your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, come on out of here. Whatsoever I have said unto you, you out there, he gonna bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, brother out there, He's bringing it to your remembrance. Come on out of here. Let's get a precept real quick. Let's get a precept. I'm teaching you spiritual things right now. Let's go to 1 John real quick. Let's get a precept. 1 John. First John chapter two and verse 27. And it reads, but the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which you have received of him, abideth in you. It do what? It abideth in you. If you live in sanctify, if you live in a holy lifestyle, if you're not smoking, if you're not committing fornication, he abideth in you. And you need, and you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing or the Holy Spirit teaches, teaches you of all things. And it's true. And it's what? And it's true. And it's no lie. And even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. You shall abide in him. Let's go back. Let's go back. Chapter 57, still portion. I'm going to go back. We're going to go to 38 now. Pay attention. And now, I have said unto you that the Holy Spirit shall bring all things to your remembrance. She shall what? Bring all things to your remembrance. And now shall he, excuse me, and now, and now shall she, it, all, it says he all up in this Bible. We know the Holy Spirit is a she. And now shall she bring something to you and they might remember it. They might what? They might remember it. So the Holy Spirit going to bring something to your remembrance. Let me read it again. And how shall she bring something to you that you might remember it? How shall she do this? Pay attention. I'm teaching right now. Except that ye have heard it before. Except that ye have heard it before. Question mark. 
Pay attention to this. And I say unto you that you have all before heard the things that I have given unto you by the commandment of the Father. By the what? By the commandment of the Father. Let's keep reading. 39. For these things are the same things that you heard of the Father before you entered into mortality. What? Before you entered into mortality. Yea, even those things which he spoke unto you in his kingdom before this world was created. Come on out of here. He's bringing it back to your remembrance by the power of the Holy Spirit. You hearing me? This is how you're supposed to operate. Let's get some precepts real quick. I got a couple precepts in mind. So now, I'm going to read it again. For these things are the same things that ye heard of the Father before you entered into mortality. Yea, even those things which he has spoken unto you in his kingdom before this world was created. So you were already in his kingdom before the world was created and he spoke unto you. Come on out of here. Let's get it real quick. Let's get a precept. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Let's confirm it with the Bible. Before I form Verse 4, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Let's go back to this one. Verse 39. In the middle of verse 39. Yea, even those things which he spoke unto you, in his kingdom before this world was created. Come on out of here. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. He did what? He sanctified thee. He did what? He sanctified thee. He did what? He sanctified thee. And I ordained thee. And I what? And I ordained thee. And I did what? And I ordained thee. A prophet unto the nations. And I ordained thee. A prophet unto the nations. For the Holy Spirit. Let's keep going. Let's get another precept. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49 and 1. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord has called me from the womb, the Lord has called me from the womb. The Lord has called me from the womb. <clears throat> and from the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. He has made mention of my name. He has made mention of my name. Praise the Most High. Thank you, Father. Let's keep going. We're going to go to the sealed portion, our sealed Book of Mormon now. Let's go to page 73. It's the fourth, fourth chapter. 
Well, we're going to start at verse 61. I'm going to read just a couple samples out of it. And the Lord said to Enoch, Then you will come with all your city and find them there. For your Zion will descend from heaven in this place. And I will join you the hundred and forty and four thousand. The hundred and forty and four thousand high priest whom I the Lord have ordained according to my holy order. Listen to this. Even before the foundations of the world. Even before the foundations of the world. Pay attention to this again. I the Lord have ordained, ordained according to my priesthood. I have ordained according to my priesthood. Let's go back to Jeremiah. Let's read this again. Let's read this again. Sticking it in. You special. You are special. You are blessed. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. I ordained thee. I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee. I did what? I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. The same thing right here. He ordained them. Come on out of here. Let's go to this again. Trying to seek it into the spirit. Devil is a liar. Verse 61 or verse 62 now. <laughs> Therefore, those who are born high priest among men on earth are seers chosen and ordained by the most high in the spirit world in the what in the spirit world in the what in the spirit world you are already ordained already get that in your head you have nothing to worry about he already has a plan for you let's go back to the sealed portion I'm going to read 39 again. This is chapter 57 and verse 39. For these things are the same thing that you heard of the Father before you entered into, the, into mortality. So he's going to speak the words through the Holy Spirit, what you already heard before you came to this earth. Yea. Even those things which he spoke unto you in his kingdom. I'm going to read that again. Even those things which he spoke unto you in his kingdom. Before this world was created. Before this world was created. Let's keep reading. Verse 40. And as his children... Ye heard all these things from the Father. You have what? You have heard all these things of the Father. That's, this is why it's so easy for you to get. Because you was already ordained and chosen. And he spoke the words in his kingdom to you before the foundation, before the world was created. And as his children. You heard all these things from the Father. And the Holy Spirit shall bring these things which you have heard to your remembrance. To your what? To your remembrance. To your what? To your remembrance. And when they are brought to your remembrance, you shall feel peace. Come on out of here. You shall do what? You shall feel peace. Not worrying. You shall feel peace. 
which is caused by the confirmation of the Holy Spirit, which is caused by the confirmation of the Holy Spirit, that the things that ye remember are true, that the things that you remember are true. Verse 41, and this peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you through the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, not as the world giveth peace, giveth I unto you, but the peace which ye shall receive from the Spirit, from the what? From the Spirit, from the what? From the Spirit, the Holy Spirit shall be an everlasting peace that shall dwell with you forever. Which shall dwell with you forever. The Holy Spirit is with you. And you have been ordained already, brother out there and sister out there. From the foundation of the world, when the kingdom, when you were already in the kingdom, and before the earth was even created. And now the Holy Spirit's job is to bring all things to your remembrance. This is Outer Quidash from One Nation, One Power. I wanna give all glory, honor, and praise where praise is due. To the Most High God, Ahaya, Asha Ahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Rewat Quidash. So be it.